But this is Moses too. Okay. Moses had left. The Lord told him, hey, you go back to Egypt and you speak to Pharaoh. And you tell him what you want. Okay? We start. And Moses heard what the Lord did say and left for Egypt the very next day. The journey's in, brother, brother Aaron, he met and talked about Pharaoh, what they wanted to get. To Pharaoh they went, gave him their plea. Are you and your Lord threatening me? Think the Lord stronger, his voice like a curse. Well, stick around, buddy, it's going to get worse. <laughs> the Hebrew slaves, they had to make bricks. They needed the straw to make the right mix. Tesmascus was told to the slaves what to say, no more straw for you, it's your problem each day. The people were sad, but what could they do? But the Lord was watching what they were going through. No more, Mr. Nice Guy, the Lord to Moses said, the first plague is coming, the water will be blood red. The fish all died, the people couldn't drink. You'd think this would all bring Pharaoh to the red. Did he see the light and let the people go? He relented not, knew the Lord had spoke. If you remember, the frogs came next. You can tell the good Lord was vexed. At last, at last, Pharaoh changed his mind. Did he really think we'd now thought him kind? He thought it over and again said, No, you're staying here. You're staying here. I'll not let you go. The good Lord knew what he had to do. This Pharaoh acted tough. He hit him harder and harder still until he had enough. The plague was lice, the fourth flies, the fifth all neat did rot. Pharaoh said he was relenting and then repent, repenting. In truth, he just did not. As Pharaoh got badder, the good Lord got madder, plague number six was sent. The boils were too painful, the people were crying, they were on every lady and gent. Hail was sent from heaven, unlucky number seven, and crushed everything in sight. You'd think by now Pharaoh would keep his vow instead of inviting his plight. Plague eight came next, and it really vexed when locusts were on every one. Covering sun during day and moonlight at night really wasn't a lot of fun. They prepared for a mass for number nine, and darkness the whole end would be. Bumping into trees, falling all over rocks because they couldn't see. Pharaoh, oh Pharaoh, Pharaoh, oh Pharaoh, did you ever think you were wrong? Nine times I did warn you, you still didn't listen, you'll soon sing another song. Moses, oh Moses, please carefully listen, have I got a job for you? You'll also be leaving, well, you'll also be leaving while others are grieving, here's what I want you to do. Tell all of our people of sacrifice they should make and put blood on the post of their door. They'll be safe in their huts while I am about, for throughout the land I shall soar. Taking firstborn from all because of Pharaoh's God, who surely let my people go. Does he think he can afford more wrath from the Lord? His strength he does now know. Pharaoh will find you and with you will plead to get your people out of my land. In Exodus you'll be making all your goods, you'll be taking out one person will the tribe's grand. That's what happened as it came to pass. The Israelites took flight, a white cloud, they'll lead in the daytime, and a pillar of fire at night. Amen.